um, I guess this is the last time we'll present the game here. Uh, so our game is a vehicular combat game. It's all like Twisted Metal meets Portal. Uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna show you the gameplay with some play people playing down here. You can see their screens on those TVs. Uh, we'll do a team deathmatch with uh, five players, or just regular deathmatch with five players, and then a uh, capture the flag with eight. Uh, so that's what you're gonna see. We're gonna start you off just showing you the trailer, kind of uh, tells you a little bit more about the game and how it's played. Okay. <coughs> and it's time for another match of Warp Derby. <laughs> into environmental hazards and kill them that way. Um, there we're going to uh, play some deathmatch for you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're all excited for this evening's Warp Derby. What are we going to see tonight, Chris? Well, JB, we're getting loose with a free-for-all game tonight. Every driver for themselves. And drivers may wish they had stayed home tonight, looking at what's in store at the crater. The fiery pit of molten metal surrounded by grinders, crushers, and mail bombs. <laughs> so fire up your engines and fasten your seatbelts. It's time for Warp Derby in three, two, one. It's warping time. This driver is new to face. Like this driver is going with the shock. Oh, no. 
dynamic so this ticker you're seeing over here on the side is uh, giving uh, different hazards on the map different point values based on how frequently other players are killed in them so if someone's killed a lot in that you know center metal pit um, it'll be worth less points for you to kill another player there so it incentivizes players to do more creative kills and not always take the easiest kills <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're 
So we're going to play some Capture the Flag now. Probably John. Every time. Matt, 